we're on to the second project of this challenge where I recreate all the granny squares from this book. Today's square is called Season of Daisy Square. This is what it looks like. My predictions for this square is that it might be easier than yesterday's square, but I don't think I will like it as much because it's very holy, as in many holes, not in the other sense of the word holy. <laughs> These are the colors I'm going to be using. Very neutral-ish palette with a vibrant green, which could be fun. We'll see. And I'm filming this on my lunch break, so I have less than an hour. Let's get to it. Uh, ah, there you go. Because I want my yarn to be the same weight between all the colors, I'm doubling this color specifically. I start with a magic ring. Am I already done with the first color? That was stupid easy. Okay. I think I'm doing it wrong. Why do we only have eight petals? I'm confused. So it kind of looks like a hot mess right here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. When in doubt, you know. Join yarn C, this green color, in the third loop of the sixth chain of a petal. I don't understand. What are the loops? Join yarn C in the third loop of the sixth chain of a petal. I don't get it. Did I forget something in my petals? Join yarn C in the third loop. What's the third loop? I'm at my second square and I don't understand. I don't get it. So if I ignore this third loop situation thing that we've got going on because I just don't understand. This is what it's looking like right now. And I think now that I'm looking at it, I think I know what they mean. I think the third loop might be like the loop on the back. I have no clue if that makes any sense, but I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna try that instead. Because I was just looping on the chain, but I'm kind of losing my flower. <coughs> Sorry, <bless me. coughs> I'm kind of like twisting the petals and it's not really looking the way I want it to look. Okay, so I'm starting over, but I'm looping on the back loop instead. <coughs> I'm allergic to my cat. <laughs> I'll be right back. Is that more like what it's supposed to look like? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that and go on to the next round and hopefully it works out.
this is what it's looking like now. And I'm just not quite sure I like the middle part. It's kind of flimsy looking. Can't love them all. I'm gonna make a hundred of these, so some of them are gonna be less appreciated by myself, but that's okay. The next row. That's what I meant. I don't like it. It's too flimsy. I like them to have a little more hold, a little more oomph. This, to me, just mm -mm. not my favorite. I will say it did work up very quickly though. Not quite 30 minutes, a little more than that, but whoops. Overall, if you're looking for something very fast and you don't mind the holy granny squares, then this one could be good for you. It's still cute. I fetched the other one. If I have to pick between those two, I'm going with this one. This one is cuter. Now I'm still wondering what I'm going to do with all of these once I'm done. Please let me know <laughs> what I should make with these. I'm thinking a blanket, but is that a little boring? I don't know. Let me know. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!